There's no doubt about it, the 2-7 and seven Southeastern Lions play like anything but a Division I basketball team with only two wins. After a gruesome non-conference road trip featuring opponents Cincinnati, Nebraska, Texas A&M, and TCU, the Lions hosted Loyola of New Orleans to get back to their winning ways. In this game, Southeastern's leading scorer Zay Jackson displayed a generous brand of basketball with a career-high 12 dimes. When number 10 had the ball, only one thought went through his mind. It's being more aggressive and help my team win at all costs. But being more aggressive don't necessarily mean I got to score the ball. I can be more aggressive and give, you know, get the ball up like tonight. I was more aggressive going to the rim, and I was able to find them. So, you know, that's my focus. One thing we've been trying to stress, we've got a new team, a young team. They don't quite understand the value of passing the basketball, moving the basketball around uh, for, for open shots. And I think that we took a step forward there tonight. I want to continue to do that. With a shooting percentage of 57%, the Lions had no trouble taming the Wolfpack. Southeastern outscored Loyola in the paint 40-18 to with seven players scoring in double figures. With six new players in the lineup, the Lions are finally starting to gel together. Definitely the chemistry is getting better, and you can see it on the court today. It's just more like every day, every day, every day basis. you got to work hard and like don't let up. With four non-conference games remaining before facing Stephen F. Austin, head coach Jay Ladner's game plan remains the same. Certainly we need some wins to keep our confidence up between now and then, but we we want to keep, you know, just keep improving every day. Just break it down like that. Let's just try to be better tomorrow. Let's correct the mistakes we made tonight tomorrow and don't make those same mistakes. Then we can, we can improve more efficiently. Those adjustments being turnovers. This Lions basketball team averages 17.8 a game. And with a tough conference schedule coming up with an opening game against Stephen F. Austin, you know that taking care of the ball is going to be essential if the Lions want to have any success this upcoming season. For the big game, I'm Richard Mills.